hello students today we will discuss about the structure of fats in the previous lecture we have discussed about the carbs and uh, today our topic of discussion is the fats fats are the solid form of group of molecules called the lipids and uh, these are not the polymers because these are the heterogeneous group of compounds contains the fatty acids and the glycerol so let's start with the first paragraph when the lipids are liquid they are known as the oils and when they are solid they are called as the fats fats and oils are formed from the carbon hydrogen and oxygen only a molecule of fat or oil is made up of three molecules of an organic acid uh, that is called as a fatty acid and commonly known as a free fatty acid and combined with the one molecule of the glycerol glycerol actually nothing but the compound that contains three oh groups so three fatty acids are combined with the glycerol and the resultant structure is called as the uh, triacyl glycerol commonly known as tag that is the storage form in the liver and this is common example of uh, fat lipids form part of the cell and the internal membrane of the cell such as the nuclear membrane droplets of fat or oil form a source of energy when stored in the cytoplasm and the energy that is given from the fat is too much greater extent as compared to the same quantity of carbs or proteins uh, actually uh, there are lot of number of kilocalories that are given by fats as compared to the uh, carbs and proteins so this was all about today's uh, fats structure and the in the next uh, structure we will discuss about the protein proteins are actually the structural uh, they are categorized into so many categories uh, one of them are the structural proteins and the functional proteins and enzymes and the hormones and so many others so uh, let's start with the structural protein as the name suggests structural proteins mean the protein that are participating in the formation of cells membrane especially some protein contribute to structure of the cell to the cell membrane the mitochondrial membrane the ribosomes and the chromosomes these proteins are called as the structural proteins so uh, there is another group of proteins uh, we know them the enzymes the enzymes are present in the membrane system or in the mitochondria in the special vacuole or in the fluid part of the cytoplasm and uh, we can uh, call it the cytosol the enzymes are present in cytosol uh, the enzyme especially the enzymes of the respiration for example glycolysis enzyme are present in cytosol enzymes control the chemical reaction that keep the cell alive although there are many different types of protein all contain carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and many other uh, contain sulfur as well their molecules are made up of long chain of simpler chemicals called as the amino acids actually the amino acids are the monomers and they are attached with the peptide bonds to form the polymers that are called as the proteins uh, the bond that in between the amino acid is called as a peptide bond so uh, it is all about the proteins and uh, next we will discuss uh, about the vitamins the vitamins are very crucial structure that are very important for the living bodies this is category of substances which in their chemical structure at least have little in common plants can make their own vitamins animals have to obtain many of their vitamins ready made and vitamins or substances derived from them play part in the chemical reactions for example vitamin d is very very important for the bone formation and vitamin c is also very important and vitamin c is also known as ascorbic acid and present in the citrus fruits so these are uh, and uh, so many other vitamins that are necessary for the fat absorption as well so uh, we have to uh, take in uh, from the outside and our body also can synthesize the vitamin d especially in the three organs in the lungs uh, in the liver and in the skin obtain many of the vitamins ready made vitamins or substances derived from them play a part in the chemical reaction in the cell for example those who involve transfer of energy from one compound to another if cells are not supplied with the vitamins or the substances needed to make them the cell physiology is thrown out of the order actually it means cell not properly works physiology mean the study of functioning actually and the whole organism suffers one example of vitamin is the 
vitamin C that is the ascorbic acid vitamin B uh, B3 B5 B8 and uh, B12 as well B9 so water water is very very crucial structure that is uh, uh, very important structure for the living bodies because our brain is made up of almost 85 to 89 percent of brain and the bone cell also made up of water up to 20 percent most cell contain about 75 percent water and will die if their water content falls much low uh, water is good solvent and many substances move about the cells in the watery solution so here actually uh, synthesis and conversion in the cells this is topic that is just like the uh, structure about the catabolism and anabolism actually uh, that is the two types of metabolism the all chemical reaction taking place in the body are called as the metabolism and uh, these are categorized into two uh, types these are called as the anabolism and catabolism in anabolism two smaller substances combine to form the larger substance and in the catabolism two, uh, one large compound is broken down into the two or more the smaller pieces so uh, this was all about today's lecture in the next lecture we will discuss about the structure of dna nucleotides uh, and the water and how it works as a solvent and our topic will be finished thank you